All right, today's lesson is going to introduce you to another medium, and that is pen and, I like to call, say pen and ink, but in actuality, it, more um, accurately, it's a little bottle of ink and a quill, okay? There we go. So that's what I'm going to show you how to work with. So I'm going to use a pair, a very simple shape. I'm going to draw several pairs on my paper here. All right, with a pencil, just real quick little sketches, just to show you some basic techniques with the quill, or pen and ink as I'll call it. All right, so pair number one, pair number two, stem on it. I like stems. Pair number three. And I can think of actually a number of techniques you can do with this. But we'll see how many I can squeeze in here. And we're going to try some of these. Maybe all of them. We'll see. These are just little pencil drawings. Using my ebony pencil. All right, this will just get me started. A nice little shadow under them. All right. Now, the first basic technique, and we'll see how this is going to work. Usually with pen and ink, you try to, with a quill, you want to work with your quill pointing downward because gravity helps it. I'm going to dip my quill in my bottle of ink like this, and I'm going to run the nib, that's the metal part, across the lip of the bottle so I get rid of any excess ink so I don't get a drop, have this thing drip or drop on my paper. The first technique is what we call hatching. Hatching is I'm basically again, adding value with little lines, all right? So like so. Hatching is straight little lines parallel to each other, like that. All right, this is working. These lines are pretty light pretty thin. So hatching. Yeah, these ones are a little darker. I'm holding my pen. So gravity is pulling the ink down the nib. There we go. So building up my values using hatching. And of course, you got to replenish your ink every once in a while. If you want darker values, you put more lines. You put another layer of lines over that, set of, first set of lines. I look at my pair. The lightest value is the highlight. Everything else is darker. Now, what I didn't do here, you may have noticed, I didn't outline the pair. I could. So another choice I could make to define its shape. Hatching, hatching, hatching. Hatching on the stem. Hatching for the shadow here. And I want that shadow to go underneath the pair. So I'm going to make it darker by adding more lines, right where it goes under the under the pair. I can make the back edge of the shadow feel further away by making it darker. All right, let's see how that looks. So there's hatching. Now there's contour hatching. Again, I don't normally work this quick and. I just want to squeeze this in into one video. We'll see how that works. I'm going to do some more lines here. There you go. Extend the shadow out a little bit on the other side. All right, I'm starting to like this now. I'm building up my values. All right, so there's hatching. Cross hatching is where you do a, a set of lines per hatching. Just like I did on this first pair. But 
then we go a few more lines here. Have a piece of paper and towel or two handy in case you spill your ink. I've done it and I've seen students do it. So, but I think this is fun. I think the idea of a little bottle of ink and a quill is, it's kind of romantic in a sense and it's kind of harkens back to the days of when artists were working with in a more, um, with materials that weren't so modernized or up to date, you know. Then I'm going to come in and come in the other direction. So cross hatching, as it applies, you're building up a second set of lines at the opposite angle from the first set of lines. Cross hatching. All right, look at that. All right, so that's cross hatching. And then there's contour hatching. Contour hatching is when your lines not only define value, but also the contour of the object. So rather than cross hatching, I'm cross hatching, but my lines are gonna curve to define the curvature of the surface of the object. It's contour hatching. And then I can come in from this direction too. You ever look at a dollar bill, the president's faces are made up of a bunch of contour hatched lines. Because originally, they were made from etchings, and that's how they define them. Nowadays, of course, it's a whole photographic process, but they still make it look like, like they were made from etched plates, but they're not. So contour, in other words, my lines are conforming to the contour of the object. So I'm adding value as well as describing its basic shape. All right, so a little more on this one, but you can see the basic techniques here. The plane of the table is flat, so it just, it, the lines don't have to curve, do they? So they're rather straight. Oh, I got a drop. I wasn't careful, but what do you do when you get a drop? Well, I'm going to show you that technique. That's going to happen with many of you. You're going to get a drop of ink off your quill. That's life, isn't it? All right, so contour hatching. Now, I'm going to end this video and do one more.